Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where we've decided to have a secondary mission in this mission and we are going to get some gravity scans from in space high. We've got the Delta V to pull it off, we've got the gravity scanner, so why not? I'm going to turn the SAS off for right now, we don't really need it. So we'll just go ahead and enable time warp changing when we change biomes and we're just going to grab as much science as we can over deserts, that's fine. Collect that. Water, don't really care. Grasslands, we've already got. Shores, we've already got as well. Water, we have. What else are we looking for? Additional shores. Grasslands, more shores, water, I'm hoping for like mountains or something. I mean, we do only have the one equatorial orbit and we really don't have the delta V to hit like the poles. <laughs> that is not happening. But we can grab some of this science. Mostly we've been just getting water and shores, so. Grasslands. Here's some highlands. We'll collect that. Grasslands. Highlands. Badlands. Yeah, we'll grab that. More highlands. More grasslands. More highlands. Boy, it keeps going back and forth here. Whoop, that's mountains. Grab that. Nice. Okay, highlands. I don't think we're going to get another biome at this point. We've gotten deserts, we've gotten badlands, we've gotten grasslands, and it looks like we're going into shores and water, so we're probably not going to get a whole lot else. Like, I'm pretty sure that's it. Water. Yeah, we are... Uh, we're good to go. That's That's been enough. So I'm going to go ahead and right about here... I'm going to add our retrograde burn, because I want to come down in daytime. And we're just going to bring this down to about 50 kilometers. I'm keeping it high because I want to be light on the fuel usage, because I want to do a fancy burn on the way in. Right about there will do fine. So we're saving a couple of extra delta V for doing that. And we're going to be able to burn about 150 dV on the way in on lowering our apoapsis while keeping our periapsis about where it is. But realistically, I think we're going to be fine. The major question is, with this this long, are we aerodynamically stable? I have no idea what the answer to that is. Actually, I know exactly what the answer to that is. The answer to that is, boy, I hope we're aerodynamically stable. <laughs> I'm not convinced that we are, but at least Virkel can lock retrograde. That's something. Okay, let's go ahead and warp to that maneuver. Uh, you can, you can stop X science. We don't need to be notified. <laughs> we're we're completely fine. Okay, so we want to do this at T minus twenty five seconds. So about right now. And there goes our periapsis. As long as we get into the atmosphere, we should be home safe. Nothing else should matter. 
assuming that we are able to hold attitude. And we're very close now. Okay. Good enough. Now, once we get over around here, I want to do it while we're still out of the atmosphere. We want to be burning retrograde here, but we don't want our periapsis to drop too low. So, we'll be tossing in a bit of a radial burn as well. Now, we only have... How much DV? 258 meters per second. A little more than I thought we would, actually. So, let's go ahead and keep our periapsis. Actually, we need to bring it back a little bit. That's very close right there. There we go. That's the best we can do. But that'll bleed off about over like two thirds of our altitude almost. That'll be nice. So we're just going to burn the entire tank there and then jettison. Okay. Warp to next maneuver. Let's go. And the reason we want to do this outside of the atmosphere is, of course, because the Terrier is a vacuum engine, so we would lose a lot of thrust efficiency if we were to do it inside the atmosphere. Okay, this is a 34 second burn. It kind of doesn't matter when we do this, but I'm going to do it at uh, 17 seconds, T minus 17. So let's go ahead and warp till then. So about T minus 20. And let the burn commence. This is, of course, our final maneuvering burn here. We're burning off every last bit of fuel in preparation for our re-entry. Still about 10 kilometers up above the atmosphere. And just trying to adjust attitude a little bit here. And we are burned out. Off goes our tanks and our engine. And we should, at this point, checking electric charge. We are fine on electric charge. Just lock retrograde. For now, orbital retrograde will be fine. And we are in the atmosphere and slowing down. Not by much, but we are slowing down. I'm pretty sure we're not going to have to take two arrow breaking passes. That was, in fact, the point of that last burn. Was to hopefully make it so we didn't take two. But we're not going very far down in the atmosphere, right? We're still only aiming at 49 kilometers, so... <laughs> We'll have to see just how much speed we manage to bleed off of our apoapsis. If we do require a second aero brake pass, that's honestly kind of not a terrible thing. Let's see, these are drogue shoots, yes? Yes, drogue shoots, then main shoots. Sounds fantastic. Wait, we're going... That was weird. What is happening with our... Oh, it's because we're on radar altitude right now, and we're going over bumpy portions. I do want to be on radar altitude. Don't get me wrong. Ooh, looks like we're going to be passing our engine momentarily. That's good that it got shot a little further in.
Goodbye, engine. You served us well. Okay, so we are starting to experience atmospheric effects at this point, and I think because we targeted 50-ish kilometers, I think we're going to take a second arrow brake pass. But that's fine. Three hundred kilometers for our apoapsis at this point. I mean, we're not even at the periapsis yet, and it's dropped another almost twenty kilometers. We're still forty-five seconds. Yeah, I think we are going to get in this pass. I don't think there is going to be an arrow break pass, a second arrow break pass. We're already down to 260, and we've still got 30 seconds to the periapsis. To 40 for the apoapsis. Make that 220. And we're still 15 seconds away from the periapsis. Two hundred. We're at periapsis now. This is the thickest the atmosphere is going to be. We are now going back up. Our apoapsis, actually, it, 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 it kind of is looking like we might have a second arrow break pass. It's going to be close. Anyway, we, we slice it here. We are currently at 48 kilometers. Apoapsis is still dropping. It's down to 160. But it needs to drop a whole lot more. I think we're going to get a second pass. Which is fine. It just means we're going to be coming in at a slower speed, which is safer. I used to target most of my re-entries for two arrow, arrow break passes just for safety. I've kind of gotten away from that for the sake of time, but uh, it's definitely safer. We're down to 120, but we're rising relatively quickly at this point. I mean, our time to apoapsis is decreasing very quickly. We're at 50 kilometers now. I mean, we've got another 20 to go up, but it's going to be decelerating more and more slowly as we go up. But we've only got another 30 to drop. I think we can do it. I think this is a single arrow brake pass. Only another 20 kilometers to drop. At the very least, it's going to be very, very close. How's our ablator doing? Okay, we're doing okay. We've still got quite a lot there. Only another 8 kilometers. Make that five kilometers. I do believe we're not exiting the atmosphere. Yep, apoapsis is in the atmosphere as of now. No second arrow breaking pass, but it's still going to be a relatively slow re-entry, which is fine. I'm very okay with this. We may end up coming down on the dark side, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. We are, of course, still rising. I'm going to go ahead and quick save right now, because I want to physics warp this a little bit. And quick saving in a physics warp is always a little dangerous, or rather, phys physics warping in atmosphere is always a little dangerous, hence the quick save. Okay, so far so good. We're about to hit apoapsis here in another about two minutes. 
and we're just slowly decelerating. One minute to apoapsis. And there's no way that I'm going to physics warp when we have atmospheric effects on, just for the record. We are, of course, going back down now. And at this point, we should be in surface retrograde mode rather than orbital retrograde. Let's also switch this over to radar altitude. Periapsis is currently inside the planet. We are not falling very quickly right now, but that's okay. We still have a lot of speed to bleed off. Stopping the physics warp. We are now getting atmospheric effects, and our speed will start bleeding off quite quickly. I mean, not quite yet, but pretty soon. Theoretically, anyway. We are now at 40 kilometers above the surface. Ish. <laughs> I mean, right now, sea level altitude is probably a little more useful. We're only coming in at two kilometers per second, so that's not too, too bad. Our blader is going to be half burned off here pretty soon, but that's okay. That's what it's designed to do. We are now about 40 kilometers above the surface and really starting to see atmospheric effects. We're also starting to slow down quite quickly at this point. Now I'm just hoping, and I, I'm just hoping that Furkle manages to hold this attitude, because if we lose attitude at these speeds, then we've got a big problem on our hands. You got this, Furkle. Bill and Bob's lives are in your hands. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> oh boy, this is uh, not going to be fine. I have zero faith in Furkle. We have lost a lot of speed though, so that's good. We're at 30 kilometers above the surface right now. I'm switching back to radar altitude. It's starting to become more useful at this point. Let's just make absolutely sure that our experiment storage unit has everything. It does indeed. 1.5 kilometers per second. And dropping fast. Just like us, we are also dropping fast. Maybe, um, I mean, not not too fast. We're, we're completely fine here. This is a quite safe re-entry, as long as we were able to hold attitude, which we were. And now, we no longer care about attitude. That was basically a picture-perfect re-entry. I like it. We could EVA report. Uh, we're not going to do that just yet, but we are going to deploy the drogue shoots. We will probably EVA report this if we get an opportunity. Main shoot deploy. I'm going to go ahead and quick save again. We're not going to EVA at 250 meters per second, but it looks like we're going to be coming down on the mountains, which is a little bit spooky.
And we'll see if we can get that EVA report when things start deploying. We are, of course, continuing to slow down, thanks to the drogue chutes and the parachutes. But I want to be moving quite a lot slower before I'll risk an EVA. We're coming down on this mountain, which is a little awkward. Actually, we're coming down, like, right here, which I'm not super fond of. Okay, there, go there goes the drogue chutes. I'm going to go ahead and switch the main chutes here to be a little higher, I think. Like 1,200. 1,250 is good enough. Okay. There you go. Now we'll go ahead and EVA vertical. Grab that. And board. And collect everything. Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and warp down to the surface a little bit. Hopefully we don't go rolling off too far with this mountain here. That would be awkward indeed. We're actually over highlands technically right now. Okay, we may end up losing our heat shield here to this impact, but I don't think we're going to lose our experiment storage unit, or rather our service bay. Okay. That wasn't bad. We didn't lose anything. I'm actually shocked. We'll go ahead and grab everything that we can scientifically. And then we'll recover this. That went surprisingly well. And this episode went a little over, so we'll just go ahead and go over what we got from that mission, which was primarily money and science. And then before we decide what our next mission is going to be, I'll put it in a cut. But look at that. That is a ton of science that we just got. We also got a decent chunk of funding. Not amazing. I just want to double check. Yep, we did complete the contracts that we were expecting. Fantastic. Okay, well, we'll decide what we're going to do next in the next episode. I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here, subscribe for more, and next episode we might be going back to uh, doing the moon base, or rather the Minmus base. We'll see. See you all next time.